from the point of view of the human heart, all humanity is one family. Chinky 37 With the shadow of weakness and the city of tenderness and it's the path of equality. My wisdom story I thought I was born into a girl's body. I always felt like a boy deep down. My family was conventional. My father worked, my mother took care of the children and was completely dependent on him financially. He often treated her disrespectfully and with cruelty as if she were weak, awfully sentimental and only nice to look at. As I got older, I saw men like him ruling the world. So I rejected my father, the patriarchy and well as the boy in me. In absolute solidarity with my mother, I would be a girl no matter how painful or wrong it felt within. Without realizing it, I spent the following years using every masculine muscle I had to idolize and fight for all things feminine. I envisioned and worked for a world where women were the leaders. I became an activist and speaker, empowering women worldwide with my ideals. I also became financially independent and parted with the big boys for rights and privileges on behalf of women everywhere. Privately, though, I was an emotional wreck. I alienated my romantic partners constantly with unfair and cruel accusations and an unstable need for emotional processing. The truth was that deep down I was fighting for one thing, acceptance. But I couldn't even give that to myself. I was too weak to share, much less own how I felt inside or how I wanted to live my life. I had zero trust that my romantic partners would still love me as a man. No trust that the world would ever accept a freak like me. I was convinced that if my feminist community discovered how I really felt inside, they'd no longer see me as a leader, but as an outsider, maybe even an enemy. When the pain of hiding from myself was too great, I decided to drive to a transgender support group in a town where I'd never be recognized. I sat in the back of the room and just listened. My own story was told over and over again by different people. Because of their courage, I found myself, my pain, longing, loneliness and overwhelming fear. At the end of the meeting, someone came up to me. To my shock, it was someone I knew. I expected an attack, but instead I was given the most tender embrace. In that moment, I knew I'd find my way back to me and that I wouldn't have to do it alone. My gift to you. I am your friend. I have deep respect for you. I don't want you to change who you are at your core. You are a completely unique, worthy being and there is a place for you in this world of ours. I see you with deep tenderness. It is time to take your place with the pride, humility and profound self-acceptance. When you look at yourself, see your weakness and vulnerability as your strength. When you look out at the world, see beyond polarities, beyond gender stereotypes, beyond patriarchy and matriarchy. Aim your eye towards synthesis, to the entire continuum of beauty available to all of us. Equality is your birthright. You and me, we are family. And now, some questions to deepen your contemplation. Is there a part of yourself that you've been refusing to love? How can you best accept and support your whole self right now? What do you see as your weakness in you? Can you find its inherent and strength? Can you embrace all people equally? In what situations do you find this challenging? If you could show yourself tenderness today, what would you do? Share your tenderness with someone who could truly use it. That's it. Much love and happy contemplating.